Hey y'all, what's up? So it's your girl Summer. Let me add you guys with uh I'm gonna be shouting, okay? <laughs> um, because I'm outside today with a very beautiful prophetic word. So this is actually going to be a prophetic word specifically for God's daughters. So sorry guys. Jay hears me. Sorry guys, I kind of gotta leave y'all out of this, okay? But um God has a really important message concerning completion. Um, of a process and concerning his daughters being prepared for marriage okay um and originally i wasn't going to share this just yet but today when i was working on something else god gave me a quick mind vision of me seeing myself um teaching this and doing so in a way that just expressed his heart for you and when i say you i mean you his daughter that's on the other side of this okay so first um I'm going to be going through the scriptures and then I'm going to go into more so what God has to say to you. So the first scripture I'm going to be looking at is Ecclesiastes 311. And this is my NIV Bible. Okay. So it says he has made everything beautiful in its time. All right. That's the most important part here. He has made everything beautiful in its time. So when we break down this scripture, when we're speaking about he has made, made comes from, um, I don't think I wrote down a Hebrew word. No, I didn't write down a Hebrew word, but I wrote down what it meant. So Strong's Concordance 6213, but it speaks of a finishing, like something being done. So when we first encountered this word was when Eve was in the garden and God said, what have you done? So done denotes something that's already finished or already complete. So God has completed everything beautiful within its time. Okay, so beautiful, that references um, in Strong's Concordance, the Hebrew word, 3303 um it also means truly and indeed right but when we speak about in its time time is referencing 6256 in strong concordance which means an appointed time or a season okay so what god is saying to you his daughter and this is concerning marriage he's saying my daughter i want you to realize that you have went through this process you have gone through this process your process is complete and when God say you have, you are a completed work, he's not referencing the completed work that speaks about what will happen when Jesus comes back, that we shall be complete. No, he's talking about you are completed for this appointed time, for this season. So for your season of marriage, whatever it is that God needed to work through you, whatever, however he needed to form you or develop you, my daughter, you have completed that process, okay? And so what he brought me to, because this is a process of beautification, not just externally, but also internally, obviously Esther 2.12. So it says, before a young woman's turn came to go into King Xerxes, she had to complete 12 months of beauty treatments prescribed for the women, six months with oil of mirror, and six with perfumes and cosmetics, okay? So this is the process God says you have completed. So when we speak about mirror, mirror is like a bitter, um, it's like a bitter oil or whatever, right? It's a medicinal balm, okay? So it's used to heal. So God says that you have went through the necessary healing, that's a part of your beautification. It's not just external. The external portion was the perfumes and cosmetics, but the internal portion was the mirror. You allow God to remove that bitterness. You allow God to really come in and be the lover of your soul and to be the head of your household on the inside of you, okay? And even the head of your household externally, okay? God says that this is what you have allowed him to do. So your process is complete. And God says he is about to present you before your husband, okay? I want you to hear this with the spirit of the Lord. Because if you look, she went into the king in the month of... To where is it at? She was, uh, this is uh, Esther 2 and 16. It says, she was taken to King Xerxes in the royal residence in the 10th month, the month of Tibet. The first day of the month of Tibet is guess what? Christmas day. Christmas day is the first day of the month of the, in which Esther went into the royal palace. Talk about a timely word, okay? And you guys can do more research on that as well. But God is saying the time is now for your marriage. You you are crossing over into this marriage season. And it is happening swiftly. And it is going to be quicker than what you expect. And it is going to come out of nowhere, okay? And another thing that God wants me to uh, say is that he wants you to know that you have completed, you, you are a complete work. If you guys have not read my book or purchased my book, I suggest that you do because there's some insight about this as well. God is not going to present 
something that is not complete at the appointed time. So what God wants to do today is he wants to break any yokes or any strongholds that you have in your mind concerning your readiness for marriage, concerning if this person is going to do what they need to do, concerning anything like that. God wants you to put those things aside. He's already thought of these things. He knows who your son is. He know, I mean, who his son is. He knows that this is time for y'all to get married. So God does not want you to be so focused on, oh God, but I don't have this, oh this. God says that my daughter, you have completed the process. It's in my hands now. You've allowed me to purify the inside of you. You allowed me to cleanse the inside of the cup and then the outside of the cup. Okay, and for some of you guys, God is going to start changing how you look, okay? He's going to give you a style. He's going to give you some swag, some pizzazz, okay? But you completed the most important part. You have God's favor. And if you have God's favor, God has also given you favor with man and that man specifically that he has created you for. So today I want to uh, just break any yokes of insecurity or anxiety concerning this process. God says, my daughter, you've completed the process. My daughter, it's done. Now, there are still some people that have bitterness in them and things like that. This, is, this word is not for you. You will know exactly who this word is for because God has been trying to tell you, like, my daughter, don't worry about it. You've allowed that process to happen and you're crossing over into it. God has been speaking to you very clearly about this person. A lot of you guys may even know who the person is, lucky, but you get what I'm saying. Regardless of the fact, how, wherever you at with it, God has been talking to you about it. He's made it very clear. He said himself that this is your marriage season. If you heard God say those words, if he's shown you that in some way, take this word to God still and thank him. Because he brought this word forth for you today so you know, my daughter, the process, you're complete. So when you step into this thing and when you meet this man and y'all begin to, um, I don't know, date, talk, whatever the case may be, don't allow insecurity to rise up about, I'm not ready for this. This is too much. God, are you sure? God says you completed the process. I would not bring you a gift that you aren't ready to receive. I would not put, God does not put us in situations to harm us. So if this person is being presented before you, know that it's because you're ready for it. So break that stronghold in your mind and trust God. I love you so much. And I pray that this prophetic word serves as confirmation for those whom it is for. Talk to you later.